At Transpower, we're always searching for new and innovative solutions for the challenges we face. We work hard to find solutions that provide real value to the people of New Zealand. Solutions that benefit communities far and wide. One challenge we're facing is demand for electricity reaching the maximum capacity of transmission lines in a few of our regions. In some of those places, essential maintenance can temporarily limit the amount of electricity we are able to transport to local lines companies. In turn, constrained supply of electricity can lead to high prices and reduced availability. So how do we keep the lights on for those affected? An expensive solution is to build more lines and towers, but it doesn't make sense to do this if capacity is only a temporary issue during maintenance works. It also doesn't make sense to build more lines and towers if a region's electricity demand isn't expected to grow for many years. That's why we think our demand response programme is an ideal solution for these limited areas potentially affected by constrained supply. South Canterbury is one of these. Grant Hall, Manager of Ground, Waste and Stormwater for Timaru District Council, saw an ad for our demand response programme and applied to participate. So I saw an advertisement for demand response in the newspaper, which we applied for. Um, we saw it as an opportunity and we've been part of the scheme for about 18 months now. So when a demand response event is called, they contact us, we have operators on site and we're able to operate our standby generator pretty easily. When demand for electricity looks like it will exceed the capacity we can deliver to a region, a demand response event is declared. Organisations enrolled in our demand response programme are then notified via an easy to use mobile phone application of an upcoming event. Participating is as easy as the tap of a screen, with the mobile app used to signal whether they're willing to help us lighten the load during an event. So we've found the demand response scheme to be really beneficial to the community. We have a stockpile of diesel with our standby generator, so we're able to turn that over and receive a small monetary benefit for using it. During an event, participants reduce their electricity consumption for an agreed time frame, usually lasting no more than a couple of hours. They also have the option of using any on-site generators to produce their own electricity during events, meaning they can continue with business as usual. But it's not just district councils taking part in the programme. Just south of Timaru, Craig Evans manages the region's largest cooperative irrigation scheme. For him, taking part in the programme is more than just business sense. It's about what's good for the community. More than Glen Avery Irrigation joined the Transpower Demand Response Programme because we saw it as a great opportunity to earn extra revenue uh, from shutdown periods and we equally saw it as an opportunity to um, reduce the likelihood that our shareholders would be restricted during those peak power events. Demand response isn't the answer for every situation. Sometimes it makes sense to invest in national grid infrastructure for a region, especially where there is high growth but it does help lighten the load for communities. If your organisation is a mid to large user of electricity and you think you'd be a good candidate for our demand response programme, we'd love to hear from you. Visit our website for the latest information and details on how you may be able to apply. And thank you for helping us lighten the load.